Michigan is one of seven states losing a House seat due to the census results. But what does that mean for Michiganders and the state as a whole? CW50's Chris Walker explains. Michigan will have one less representative advocating in the halls of the Capitol on behalf of the state. It's never a good thing for a state uh, to lose uh, a voice in Congress. I mean, it's appropriate that if population density is spreading unevenly across the country, those states that are gaining population should, in fact, have more seats. University of Michigan political science professor Vincent Hutchings says the responsibility of carving out Michigan's new 13 districts will be in the hands of a special committee. A ballot initiative was uh, passed a few years back where this was taken out of the hands of the state legislature and put in the hands of this independent commission composed of experts and ordinary citizens. The Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission has exclusive authority to adopt district boundaries for the Michigan Senate, Michigan House of Representatives, and U.S. Congress every 10 years. Oftentimes, uh, partisan actors in the state legislature draw seats, congressional seats, in such a way so as to benefit their party. Uh, that have been true in this state for some time. Even though we have a Democratic governor and two Democratic senators, and the state was won most recently by a Democratic candidate for president, the state legislature has been dominated by Republicans for some time. That's in part because of the way the seats are drawn. Michigan's congressional representation has been on a decline since the 1970s when it peaked at 19 members. The state is also set to lose a vote in the Electoral College. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.